Okay, I'm gonna start spooling up and then when I tell you, you say go. We're gonna launch at like 12 pounds of boost. Okay, say go. Today we have a 2005 here with a transmission issue. It was coming in with a complaint of it revving up in reverse when it got warm. Turns out when I went drove it down the road, we found the converter is not locking up. So the scanner is commanding lock up. I see a pressure jump in line pressure when lock up is commanded. So that tells me there's an issue with the converter. So. I'm in the process of tearing the transmission out and we're going to go through it, see what we can find, see if we could possibly have a valve body issue, see if it's a converter issue. We're going to diagnose this and get the customer taken care of and on back onto the road. I'm Josh Scruggs from Triple Heart Repair and Fab. We're up here at Power Pump today to break in a new motor from industrial injection. We have Bob Milliken here with us to make sure everything's going all right. This is LeVon's old Pro Street truck the new updated version of it. Just been working on it the past three months. Want to see what it's going to do. We ain't shooting for no real big numbers, just testing it out. Yeah. Just kind of break it in today and uh, do a couple probably 12, 1400 horsepower pulls on it. Just make sure the motor and rings are seated. Um, test out his new turbo setup, things like that. Uh, I'd like to thank LeVon uh, Miller and Firepunk guys for letting us come out here and meet halfway between, you know, Salt Lake and Virginia there, and um, allowed us to use all their all their shop and stuff to uh, test all of our stuff. So if everything goes good today, uh, hopefully Josh will make it to Rudy's, and then of course UCC here in a couple weeks. It's an in-house built transmission using LeVon's clutch kits. It's got a BD torque converter, high five torque converter in it. They supplied some shafts and their roller planetaries to get everything built together. My employee, Blake Miller, assembled the transmission and got it in the truck and got it going through all the gears. The Industrials Garrett 91 with a whole set 401 over top of it. Yeah, the engine's a 6.4 deck plate, roller motor. Um, should hopefully make north of uh, 2,000 horsepower at uh, UCC, so. We got Rich Schaefer's truck on the dyno. It's a 2016. Uh, was originally a G56 truck that he swapped to a 48RE with a full manual valve body. Has a single S480 92 110 turbo T4 foot. Has DDP 210% injectors, uh, dual fuelers, just two stock pumps, and then the motor has a Freedom Racing's engine, stage one head, 625 head studs, as waggler rods, and a gorilla girdle. Um, wants to try to get as much power out of it as possible, so we'll throw a couple tunes in it and see what kind of power we can make. So we were able to get uh, Rich's truck finished up. Made uh, 1,023 on the max effort tune, and then I think torque was 1,656. Um, and then on tune one was 715 horsepower. So we got him roughly 300 horsepower on the flip of a switch. So we'll send him back to New Jersey and hopefully he enjoys his new tuning. Hi guys, today we have an 08 regular cab dually here. We are doing a 68R fee build on it. We do in-house builds only to where we have uh, the ability to test drive it afterward, re relearn, do a proper procedure on the installation of it. We're also doing a 
scream or turbo, um, adding some gauges, putting gauge pod or pillar gauges in it, and we'll be doing dyno tuning to see what kind of horsepower he's gonna make. Uh, a little update on Charity Case. We got back from Rudy's um, and we had a couple engine issues. And so now we're <laughs> coming back from Rudy's. We had obviously a lot of engine failures and issues uh, with the 12 valve, uh, with the big triples that we had on it. It made a lot of drive pressure, which made a lot of cylinder pressure. And with that, we created what we think we had either cracked a block we're not quite sure yet. We haven't looked too awful deep into it, but it pushed the dipstick out, uh, pushed the soft plug out of the side, of, or the soft plugs out of the side of the block, and had a lot of blow by. Uh, I think it might be down a cylinder, so it kind of is hard for us to go back to a mechanical setup when we have a common rail here that we can throw into it and be a lot more consistent with it. So hopefully that is what we're going to do, and we'll see you at our race. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Outlaw Diesel Revenge race that Firepunk's hosting end of May. We're pretty excited about it. I'm going to be going over just some of the title sponsors, kind of the course of the events, just some things that you can uh, kind of get a preview of what we're looking forward to. And then I'm also going to, I want to show you guys some of our new swag that we got, shirts and hats. The hats are not in yet. They'll be picked up probably end of day today, so I'm going to show you some of the new shirts. These are shirts that... Um, We've been working on getting some different colors. This is still black, and this is a re we race what we build shirt. Here's a gray. This is a uh, the same shirt, just in a gray. This is a this is the front. This is the back. This is kind of the uh, same design that we have our transmission pans with the uh, with the honeycomb design. This is just a front print. Uh, we're having a uh, a whole bunch of different colors with just the Firepunk logo on them. That'll be some different options. We even have some uh, brighter colors for people that are uh, maybe from New Jersey. Just because I have a customer from New Jersey, all he does is wear bright colors. And we have red, gray. These are lady shirts for Save the Racks. Save the Racks logo. Another Save the Racks. And these we're going to have printed in men's and women's for regular t shirts. Just like that. Black and green. The plain Firebunk logo. And this is the same long sleeve design with the, that's the back, that's the front, with it on the, the honeycomb on the sleeve as well different design, black. We still favor black because that's what we all wear. Because if I wear anything else, I get it dirty. So we did a bunch of different colors, but we will have the ability to easily take any of these logos or designs and print them on a different color shirt. So as the summer progresses and we do reorders, we'll be ordering various different colors, grays or reds or blues. This is the same honeycomb. And this is a, a lighter material a couple different varieties. We're going to have all this new apparel uh, at the UCC booth this weekend. Uh, there are a couple boxes that are being expedited shipped, uh, so I'm hoping that all the designs will be here, but at least have most of them here. We'll have most of this apparel in our UCC booth this weekend, uh, so come by the Firepunk booth, and we are also passing out $5 off coupons to all the people that buy apparel. You get a $5 off coupon to our event end of the month. So we hope to see you guys there. We got new shirts and we got new hats that are not on this video. We'll be picking them up late this afternoon. You can come see them at our booth uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at UCC. Let's talk about the Firepunk race. This is the Outlaw Diesel Revenge uh, that we are hosting. This is an ODSS points race. This is uh, race number two of the season. This is May 31st, June 1st at Killcare Raceway, Xenia, Ohio. It's about an hour from the shop. Uh, so if uh, anybody breaks their trucks and they need to fix it, then we can uh, bring it down to the shop afterwards and we'll fix it next week and get you back on the road. But uh, starting with Thursday night, we have Test and Tune. That is Kill Cares Track's normal Test and Tune night. Uh, we are going to let that keep on running. So if racers want to come in early and test Thursday night, it's wide open. It's $10 at the gate, gets you in. You can test all night Thursday night with normal test and tune with all the other local racers. 
And then Friday morning, we have 9 a.m. The gates open to vendors and competitors, and they open at noon on Friday for the spectators. And then we have a one round of qualifying Friday afternoon, that's 2 p.m. And then we have a gambler's race Friday afternoon as well. That is if you've got a ET 770, 670 truck and you want to get some test passes in, show up, buy a gambler's race tech card, you can make some passes and you can, uh, you can it's an ET gambler's race, maybe win some money if you do some good. And then Friday night, we're doing a Friday night street fight show. So this is something uh, sponsored by Capital Core. They are uh, sponsoring the night for a big tire and small tire uh, heads up race. So we're going to have a bunch of local big tire heavy hitter cars. Bill Big Boost, Bill Lutz is coming in to help us coordinate the classes, help promote it for us, and just make sure that we have uh, all our ducks in a row for the small tire big uh, small uh, small tire big tire cars because we have not done a lot of that racing. So I'm going to let Bill handle some of that promotion stuff. But it is five thousand dollars to win the big tire class, and if you have a big tire. Um, diesel that you're running in pro mod and you want to join the big tire class after the second round of qualifying Friday night you can buy a tech card and run with the cars and see if you can grab an extra five grand cash um, the same thing with the small tire uh, if you want to buy a tech card and compete in the small tire or big tire classes that we're hosting in the Friday night show you're welcome to do that it is a separate entry it is a separate race that you're buying a separate tech card and payouts for so that is the Friday night show sponsored by Capital Core we're hoping that can be a good showing for the people who can't make it out for all day Friday. They can at least come in Friday night and see the second round of pro qualifying, which will be like uh, 6.30 or 7 o'clock uh, Friday night. I need to look at the schedule to be sure. Saturday morning, it's going to be a big day. Oh, a gate's open at 8 o'clock for vendors, spectators, and everybody. Uh, 9 a.m. driver's meeting, and we go right into racing. And we will have all the ODSS classes, ET, 770, 670, 590, Pro Street, Pro Mod, Top Dragster. Everybody will be racing and we will race all the way through to the quarterfinals on Saturday afternoon. And we'll be done, uh, we're hoping to be done by say 4 or 5 p.m. And then we're going to lead the semifinals and finals of all the ODSS classes for the evening show. And that is a show sponsored by Hot Shot Secret and it's called the Outlaw Diesel Revenge Finale and we're going to try to have the best two and a half hour show that Ohio Racing has seen for a long time. We're going to open the show with uh, a national anthem. We have Wright Pat Air Force Base sending the Honor Guard out to present the colors during the national anthem. Uh, we're supposed to get a C-17 flyover that is still pending per uh, pilot request. They're not sure which pilot's going to be on for that day. But I'm really hoping we're going to get a flyover for the opening ceremony of the evening show. And then we're going to open it up with the ODSS semifinals. And then they're going to go back, cool down, get ready for the finals. And while we're waiting for that, we've got uh, Bill Lutz and Dean Kearns, which is Stinky Pinky from Street Outlaws. They are doing a grudge race. We have a pair of jet dragsters um, that are going to be making passes. And we also have the Blastro Van, which is a 2,000 horsepower alcohol uh, van. It's just uh, something that's fun to watch, big burnouts, loud noises, and I think it's run seven, so it'll be kind of cool. So then we'll go into the finals of ODSS, and you'll see the baddest of the baddest diesel racing going on that Saturday night. And then we'll finish it off with another pair of jet dragsters, another grudge race between Bill Lutz and Dean Kearns, and um, you'll have you know, two and a half hours of action-packed Saturday night show of some of the best racing that you can be. So bring your friends, bring your families, bring the kids. It'll be a good time. We'll have vendors all over the place uh, all day Saturday. XTP uh, in Xenia is hosting a show and shine. They're going to have big payouts, trophies. Uh, they've got all their wheel and tire vendors there and a bunch of stuff that you can buy for your truck in the XTP area in the show and shine. So if you've got a, a show and shine truck, show up and uh, put it on display. Thoroughbred Diesel is hosting the Dino Day for the Saturday event, and we're going to have a 0 to 650 horsepower class. We're having a 651 to 900 horsepower class. So that means if you've got a truck that, you know, it's not an unlimited horsepower class, you can still win the $500 prize to see whoever can get closest to 650 horsepower without going over. 
And then on the 651 to 900 horsepower class, there's a $750 payout for whoever can get closest to 900 horsepower without going over 900. So, and then unlimited pays $1,000. Highest horsepower, whatever you want. Nitrous, twin turbos, triple turbos, what, bring it. Show up and show up and run, it's $1,000 up for grabs. So if you don't want to race, you got a manual truck and you're not good at shifting gears, put it on the dyno, see if you can win some money. Another one of our title sponsors I want to thank is Diesel Performance Converters. They are sponsoring the VIP tent and food for the weekend. We're doing some things special. Uh, we're doing a Friday night cookout in the Pro Racer area. So all the 590 Pro Street, Pro Mod, Top Dragster guys, those are most of the guys that are camping overnight and it's really hard to take your race rig out and go get dinner. So we are making, uh, because we're making a dinner available for all you guys, this is Buckeye Barbecue is doing the catering and they're gonna have uh, some, they're gonna have barbecue, a bunch of sides, good food in the pro pits. So if you're a pro racer, you can thank Diesel Performance Converters for making that possible. They will be, they'll also be on standby on Saturday for all the VIP and Buc Buckeye Barbecue is also bringing their sub and deli sandwich uh, trailer for the Saturday event. So from 11 p.m. to into the evening, they'll be providing barbecue and uh, sub sandwiches for all the people with the VIP wristbands, which would be the racers and vendors. And then also uh, Dibbles, one of the transmission builders here, Matt Williamson, he is being uh, gracious enough to do breakfast for everybody at the VIP tent for all the racers. So. He'll be starting cooking, I think, 11 o'clock, so from 11 to 10.30. Uh, he's going to be doing, like, egg, chorizo, uh, breakfast tacos. So if you want breakfast at the track and you're an overnight camper that uh, is staying there with a VIP van, you are more than welcome to that. Now, for all the racers who can't make the trip all the way to Ohio, we wanted to give you guys an outlet for you guys to still be able to tune in, see the baddest action on uh, in Ohio that weekend. So Motor Mania TV is going to be on site with five cameras. They're going to be live streaming the whole event. You'll be able to watch the racing from your home and you'll be able to catch, you know, stay tuned into your buddies that are out there racing if you've got to stay home and work or your wife's having a baby or something funny like that. But um, Exergy Performance is the sponsor for Motor Mania TV. They're the ones who wrote the check to make this all possible. So you thank Exergy Performance very much for making this possible. I know this last weekend was Rudy's. I was at home, my wife had a baby Thursday night, and it was awesome to be able to be in the hospital. I could be at home, I could be with my family, but I could still tune in, make sure that the Firepunk team was doing good or doing bad, whatever they were doing, I could pay attention to it. And uh, it, kept me, uh, it kept me from feeling like I was left out of the action, because often on these events, there's no good signal because you got 10,000 people all in one place and nobody can share videos or pictures or anything like that. So Motor Mania TV makes this all possible. Now all the racers can go home after the weekend and they can watch all their races uh, recorded on the Motor Mania TV that's through the YouTube app. So if you're at home on that weekend, go to Motor Mania YouTube channel and it will be on the live stream that weekend. And then the racers following, you can always go back to those channels and watch those races all over again. It's a really nice feature to have for a race like this, and we really thank Exergy Performance for sponsoring it, and Motor Mania TV for coming out and doing the coverage. Uh, so I, we are really looking forward to this event. I think it's going to be uh, one of the best that Ohio's ever brought. So bring your friends, bring your families, and we hope to see you there.